City Councilman Tito Jackson, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I mean, look at this. Uh, here we are at the Mandarin on uh, in downtown Boston, having a great time. This is uh, one of the good parts about being uh, in politics, right? Definitely, Chuck, and I look forward to seeing you on a dance floor. I think we have a little battle that will be occurring, um, a Tito versus Chuck. Uh, battle. But again, we want to thank Joyce um, and the Newberry Street League for their great leadership. And we also want to thank them for their resilience um, through the difficulties that we've had this year with the bombing. Um, Newberry Street and the people of, of this area have stood strong. And also we want to thank the people of the city of Boston and the state of Massachusetts for standing strong and actually supporting the shops, the businesses, and this community because they are really one of the lifelines of the city of Boston. Well, Tito, you know, you dropped the gauntlet with the dance challenge here. And unfortunately, I, you know, I know you don't know, I've won awards and ribbons and trophies. And, uh, okay. you know, I, I, I know you didn't, I think you were kind of being a little cavalier about it, but you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Chuck, um, the only thing I have to say to you, my brother, is a, a quote from one of my favorite movies, Nutty Professor, uh, you'll walk down, but you'll limp back. Well, this guy's in for uh, a challenge on the dance floor, and I'm sure he'll do well because, uh, you know, he's got a lot of friends here that will probably support him. Uh, you know, I, let me ask you this question on a serious note. Last year at this time, everyone's here having a good time at the event, and who knew, 12 months later, the theme would be so different. I mean, in your wildest dreams, did you ever imagine the year that we would have gone through? And so many good things, but... You know, um, accentuated by the horrible incident on, um, you know, Patriots Day. But in a, in a way, it really has brought out the best in New England and the best of Boston, don't you think? Definitely. I think what this uh, has done is really torn down all the walls and built bridges across every single neighborhood, yeah. regardless of where you're from, uh, what you look like, what your socioeconomic status is. We all felt this. Um, we felt it as a blow um, to our to our, our safety, um, and we felt um, the, the folks who passed as our loved ones and the folks who were injured as our family. But we also, I think, uh, from the $46 million that's been raised so far in the one fund, um, from folks who used to compete against each other on stage coming together, yeah. um, and but also the love and respect and well wishes that we've felt from all around the world um, that have come in our direction. Um, it shows the resilience, it shows that Boston Strong is not only a slogan, it's a reality relative to the people. And Boston is really a city of neighborhoods and people, and we are strong because we choose, as the Governor, Governor Patrick says, to turn to each other in crisis and not on each other. And, you know, without making, I don't mean to make light of the reaction of Boston, but it was almost like a, oh, no, you didn't. You know, and, and the people of the world saw that. I, I think if you, if you had thoughts of messing with Boston, that was the last time that it's going to happen because people got real angry real quick, and they just said nobody's going to come into our backyard and do this to us. So the, the governor made a gutsy call. Um, the mayor, and the, uh, but the governor made a gutsy call to shut it down. Yeah. And we saw unprecedented levels of uh, cooperation relative to, to the shutdown and we you know the stuff that you saw on Facebook about you can't mess with us you can't step to us because again when it comes down to it we will find you we will make sure that you are held to account but also we're gonna make sure that the folks who live in the city the ones who are harmed and also the people who have been traumatized are taken care of we put our arms around everyone and we make sure that no person is left behind the Newberry Street League is doing that you're doing that and I'm really really happy to be here tonight well City Councilman Tito Jackson now he makes me like him so much that I'm gonna let up on him on the dance floor which is against all of my uh, my my cellular makeup I want to crush this guy but I I, I like him too much now, so hey, good luck out there. Keep, keep that camera on on the dance floor so we can you can see what happens. Please, he's done, done. <laughs>